Hi everybody, my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers, Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group and the Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. Yes, all of that. And I'd like to welcome you to A Fairy Spring Collab 24. This is week number one. Yay! We've already had our launch video on March 30th that went through all the rules and all the kits and all that, so I'm not going to do that. But today is April 2nd and then the videos you're going to have today is me with Sweet Pea Papers and Val with Val's Crafts Creations. So make sure to watch Val's video too. Make sure to watch all the videos that have come out so far from March 31st and April 1st. That'll give you four videos. And then the two today will give you six so far this month. Okay, now um, the name of the collaboration is hashtag a fairy spring collab 24. So don't forget that and then also get ready to have some fairy fun. Okay, this is hosted by Crafty Dragon Creations and Creative Paper Artisan. The links to everything I mentioned will be below and all the information you need will be below as well. So don't forget to click the more link so that the whole description opens up and then you get all of the information that you need. Okay, so let's go over real quick how to enter the drawings because um, we went over it in the launch video, but I'm going to do it at the beginning of every video real quick just to make sure nobody's left out. So for each of the channels, the YouTube channel of the collaborators, you must, that you watch, you must subscribe to their channel. Now, of course, if you're already subscribed, you can't subscribe again, but subscribe if you're not subscribed. Wow, I said the word subscribe a lot. Anyway, like the uh, collaboration video that you're watching. So each one that you watch, uh, click the thumbs up button for it and comment on each video that you watch. In your comment, you have to add hashtag a fairy spring collab 24 or your entry, your comment will not count as an entry. Let me say that again. When you comment on each video that you watch, in your comment at the end or whatever, add hashtag a fairy spring collab 24 or your entry will not count into the drawing. Okay, and there's more than one. There's Well, it says how to participate in the drawings. So um, there's more than one, I guess. And there's freebies and, uh, yeah, giveaways and racks and all kinds of good stuff that you can uh, get if you're registered. And um, so, yeah. So now for an extra point and to get your name in the drawing, the, the, drawings twice but it says twice but you know you'll get your name entered every video you watch as well post your finished journal pics with hashtag a fairy spring collab 24 by april 29th 2024 in the facebook groups of crafty dragon creations and or creative paper artisan i would recommend you join both and then be sure to join all the facebook groups for all the collaboration members as well okay uh, follow them on Instagram, Facebook, go to their Etsy shops, do all that good stuff and uh, get that warm tingly feeling that you get for, uh, you've he for helping a fellow crafter. Okay, so now this is video one and I'll be honest with you, um, this week is the cover. Now I don't make my cover normally until I've done the signatures and the embellishments because that way I know how thick it is for the spine. So I've actually been filming this backwards. So I've already filmed week two, I filmed week three, now we're doing week one and then I'm gonna film week four. So I already know how thick my spine is gonna be and then that way we can go on and create the cover. Okay. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way and get the stuff out for the um, for the book cover. Now it's possible we're going to run over the hour. Normally we do an hour. Um, it's possible we may run over an hour because um, I don't normally uh, decorate the way that we're going to decorate this time. And so, you know, I might be a little iffy on that. So what I've got here is a one and three quarters spine, inch spine, and I've got two uh, six by nine uh, book sides covers 
Then I've got two eight and a half by eleven white pieces of cardstock. This is sixty-seven pound cardstock by Nina, and the reason I mention that is because it's got a vellum finish. You can get it on Amazon. Just look up Nina vellum finish, and this paper will pop up. And it's the same price as the others, and usually you get 325 pages instead of 250 for the same price. Okay, so we're going to glue these two together. Uh-oh, we got a mark on this one, but if we put it on the inside, it'll be okay. So, um, well, even on the outside. In fact, better on the outside because we're going to fold it in. No. Let me just get another piece of paper. How about that? Let's just get one without a big blue mark on it. That's why I keep papers right next to my work area. Okay. So now we're going to glue these two on the long side. We're going to glue them together. Just a thin bead of glue. And then we're just going to overlap them just a little bit. I don't know why I'm talking so loud. Sorry about that. I feel like I was shouting. Okay. So we're going to put these two pieces of paper together. Make sure they're lined up. My shaky hands this morning. I have a kind of a crazy sleep schedule. Um, I have a sleep disorder. So, I um, <laughs> I only sleep for two or three hours at a time, but and then I'm up for five or six hours, and then I'll sleep two or three hours. It's the craziest thing. Now, if you have some uh, oozing out, and you wipe it off, and it looks like that, just take your glue eraser. And you, the reason they're called glue eraser instead of just a regular eraser is you use them to erase glue, obviously. But the reason it works is because it's got such a rough edge on it, it scrubs the, the glue right up. Let's get that all off of there, and then we'll check the other side. Looks like we're good on this side. So let's put this side on the outside. Okay, then I'm going to draw a one-inch line across the bottom. So we have our... Um, Uh, book straight. So this is called a T-square and it's just a ruler with this cross piece on it and there's a little edge on the bottom and you hook that on the paper and make sure it's straight. Then we want a one inch line so we're going to go up an inch make a mark and we don't even have to make a second mark. All you need is the one I think I'm going to go this way. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, make sure your paper's straight. Just make a light line. And of course it moved. in from the other side. And this ruler just happens to be right about an inch wide. And then we'll just draw the line the rest of the way. Now we're going to have extra on both ends. And this actually looks crooked to me. It is. It's an eighth off by the time we get down to here. So I'm going to do it without the line. I can do it that way. But a guideline for you guys, if you haven't done it before, is a pretty good way to go. 
Now we're going to start with the center where the seam is and we're going to center the spine on that. We're going to put it about an inch up. Now this is two layers of cereal box and when I cut it out and glued it, I glued the two shiny sides together so we have the cardboard side on both sides. Okay, so that's what you're going to do to get that. That's the same thing I did with these. Two shiny sides together, nine by sixes, or six by nines, excuse me. That way you don't have the cereal, whatever's on the box, showing through your paper. Okay, we want to glue this really, really well. The spine. Wait, you don't want this to pull away or pucker or do anything else when you open your book. Let's go around. We'll go down the center. Now with this being white paper, we might see the glue through to the other side. So I need to think about what I'm going to do with the inside cover. So let's center this on the center. Make it straight. And glue it on. Now I got this new nifty tool that shows me how far apart to put my pieces. Isn't that nifty? I got it on Timu. They have it on Amazon as well, but it's five dollars more on Amazon. So we're going to put glue on this one as well and glue it to the paper. Then when we get to the part where we fold over and glue the edges, I'm going to put you on pause after I show you the first one. And that way we don't take up a bunch of time, you know what I mean, with me doing the others when they're exactly the same as the ones we're going to do, the one we're going to do first. So just letting you know ahead of time. I don't speed up my videos um, and I don't do voiceovers unless the audio doesn't work for some reason on a video. I've had that happen. And um, voiceovers, I hate voiceovers, or I hate doing voiceovers. Um, you have to know what you were going to do ahead of time so that you can say it right as you're doing it. I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> I used to write it down step by step, believe it or not, and type up PDFs of the step-by-step, -step, the play-by-play, -play. but I don't do that anymore. Now we're just going to line this up with this all the way down, and that should be right. It should be correct. It looks like it's kind of wide for what I would normally do. Let's check this in. Yeah, because it is. How can it be crooked? Okay, let's go back and check, see if I pulled this end open too much. Mm -mm. Nope, that's still fine. Okay, I, I give this gizmo a pass. Yes, and then you can also use it to um, measure the, uh, how do you do it? See, now I forgot how you do it. There we go. To measure the uh, angle to cut the paper off. Hmm. It's for book, book binding. Okay. Now also, filming this backwards gives me a little bit of trouble with my binding because I usually do my binding after I do the cover. Um, which, I mean, before I do the cover, not the cover this part, but before I do the um, decorating of the color cover. So this will be a little interesting for me. 
that video shouldn't be very long. I'm not going to show you a fancy way. I'm going to show you a no-sew way. How do you like that? Yippee. No sewing. Everybody's going, what's she going to do? What's she going to do? I'm not going to tell you now. You got to wait for the, you got to watch all the videos through to that fourth video. Then we're going to, we've decided to add on the calendar, it shows four, um, but we've decided to add a fifth video at the end where everybody does a flip through through their project. So you'll have that and it'll be on um, between the last video on the calendar and the drawing. So it will be between um, between the 25th and the 29th, somewhere around in there. Okay. I just want to be able to slide this around. I was yapping. I don't want anything to dry. Now, nor I can actually usually eyeball these, but we're going to use our gizmo because we bought the gizmo. It was less than $5, I think, or right around $5 on Teemu. And this side looks like it did better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got that part done. That didn't take very long. Put our gizmo away. Okay, now we have to trim the corners. Now we could use the gizmo for that, um, but I like to do kind of a rounded corner. So I'll show you what I mean. So you kind of go in at an angle you get to a little bit away from the from the end and then you go out at an angle and you end up with a cut like that not a straight cut now a straight cut is just as good a lot of people like the straight cut where you just cut it straight diagonally far out I mean you know but this side is longer because um, when you glue the two papers together you don't really need as much width as you get okay now I'm gonna show you the top one and then I'm gonna put you on pause while I do the rest okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to fold it kind of let it know who's boss and what you're going to do with it. Make sure you kind of do this because you want it to be flat up against the cardboard when you bend it. So you don't want any of that crooked business going on. You want it all to be folded right up against your cardboard. Okay, then you lay it out a little bit. Get out your glue and you start gluing all this long way so first thing I do is I put glue along here a little bit in here that look like it looks like it moved a little at the top if it's too far apart it just makes it a little loosey-goosey however I think we'll be okay with this one because it's actually a little bit more than one one and three quarters but I didn't want to make that big of a spine so because um, as you know your signature comes together at the center and you've got all that space and um, I don't know I'm going to while I've got you guys on pause think about whether I want to put anything on the inside of the cover or not 
If I do put pockets, I may have to do them after the video, and you'll see them in the flip through. So you just want to lay it flat, or I mean lay it at an angle, pushing down on the bottom, slide it towards you, and press it down. Trying not to get glue on this part. Because you're going to be able to see some of it. Okay, so you're going to... Personally, if I hear the still crinkling, then I know it's not grabbed yet. We'll flip it over. Make sure that it's all grabbed down. Okay? Nothing is coming up. And then that side is done. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause and do the other three sides, and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got our four sides done. The thing I forgot to tell you is you do the two long sides first and then the two short sides. Then when you get it done this far, you're going to want to take your bone folder. This one already did it. This one is far apart. And you want to run it where it's going to fall. So it kind of knows who's who's the boss. Make sure you don't use the point because you'll poke a hole through your paper. You can use the pointed this end and use this rounded part, but just don't use the point or the tip. It's not really pointed, is it? It's rounded. Let me get this done. This one is going to be easier because they're the width of the bone folder. Okay, now we need a piece for the center. And I wasn't sure. Make sure to check for your little pieces of glue here and there. And um, I know what I'm going to put on either side. The um, patterns seemed a little busy to me um, to be inside next to the image on the, the front of our signature. So um, I opted to go with the solid color that matches the front cover. So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to put another piece of white paper Let's get that paper back out that had the blue mark on it. Okay, so we want a piece. This is one and three quarters. You want another inch on either side. So this can be two and three quarters, three and three quarters inches wide. Then we're going to glue it down in the center and we're going to have it centered top and bottom so that it's equal width. We want to make sure to glue it down really well in here for the same reason we did it on the other side. We don't want it to bubble up in a rounded shape when we close the book. Okay, so let's put some glue on this. We're putting that blue mark on the inside so you can't see it from that side. So that way we'll get rid of it have to worry about it on some other project. Yeah, stuff flying everywhere. So we're going to glue this on here. And then when you print the papers for the cover, you print them a little different. I print them borderless for the cover, the front cover and the back cover. Then for the inside, I put the um, setting at um, with the border. That way, when I cut it off, it's the same as the same height as the signature. I like that to be lined up. I don't like it to be taller and then come down to the signature. I don't like that. 
I like this centerpiece and everything else to be the same height as the signature on the inside. I don't normally glue like this, you guys know. Or if you're new to watching me, you don't know. But normally I would not glue all over the paper like that. It's kind of just paper. Where is it going to go? Um, so we want to center it. And then we want to center it top and bottom. I think it could come towards me just a little bit. Okay. Try not to put so much glue that it oozes out when you do this. But you do want quite a bit of glue on there. I can still hear it crinkling. Then we're going to take and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go along where the fold is going to be. It's easier for me to press down harder using the pointy end, but just don't put the point down. If you get it the right width apart, and in fact you can use your bone folder when you're gluing your covers down if you want it to be the exact with the part as your bone folder, which this seems to be an okay width. Okay, and then now we're going to take the inside cover paper which is this paper and we're going to take one and cut it in half. This is just a spare. Because that's the size of our book. almost folded the whole thing in half, which you don't need to do. This is the first video I forgot. I fold it in half and just pinch it at the top and then open it up and draw a little pencil line at the crease and then I can cut the paper in half and it'll come out exactly in half. Okay. So now these we're going to ink. And this is um, brushed corduroy, which is what we used throughout the book that you haven't seen yet. <laughs> it's kind of fun filming it backwards, except doing the binding after decorating. After we get the cover done, we just won't fold it. So I need it to be flat. And I chose this 
neutral light brown um, because when I tried to do a blue with the blues, you know what I mean, a pink with the pinks, red with the reds, it was just too many colors, green with the greens, it was too many colors of um, ink to go with. So I just decided on a neutral light brown. Brush corduroy is one shade lighter than vintage photo. Then you have gathered twigs and uh, ground espresso. And then the new color, scorched timber, which I like. And that's darker than um, um, vintage photo. And then, of course, you can go all the way and go to black soot. Just go all the way to the dark side. <laughs> Yeah, we've only got 30 minutes, so. I don't know about that one hour video. So we're gonna glue these down. If you go over to my, well, you're at my channel now, Sweet Pea Papers, but if you go to the home page, you will see all of my videos are at least an hour long, pretty much. Not the flip throughs and the um, unboxings and stuff like that, but most of my crafting videos. This is the way I normally glue, which is I glue around the edges really well and I put a little kind of a puddle on the corners so that I can slide it around. This is um, um, Fabri-Tac glue. I almost forgot what it was. Line this, the bottom of the paper up with the bottom of your um, center paper. And somehow this is shorter. Why? All right, let's bring it up so it's even. Oh, I didn't take the border off on the white paper. All right. Do you know what I mean? I trimmed the border off on these, and I shouldn't have. I should have printed them. Anyway. It'll be all right. What is that? Must be on the paper. Mm -mm, I don't like it. So, I'm going to put you on hold. And, well, I can't do anything about this. So, I'm not going to put you on hold. I'm just going to try and not get anything on this when I ink it. Which is what I think happened. Oops. Oh, I inked both of them already. So, let's glue this one down. Then we'll move on to the front. We'll leave the other side undone. I'll do it after the video. Because we're taking up too much time.
I don't know if this video maybe wasn't supposed to be on making the cover. Maybe it was just supposed to be on decorating the cover. But I wanted to uh, quote unquote cover everything. <laughs> okay, let's put this back on. Okay, so then we'll just take our spare piece of paper and we will um, make sure everything is straight. We will um, do the same thing and cover this part, okay? So now you want to label, this is going to be your front cover. So let's label this front with an F lightly. And this is going to be the top, okay? And then back, which is kind of obvious if it isn't the front, and the top. Okay, now I'm going to close the cover and then open it once, just so I can see because the paper's white. Well, any paper is probably the same. But I want to be able to see where the spine is as I'm doing the cover. Okay, now the cover papers are really pretty. We're going to use this paper and we're going to cut it. That's why I've got a second one so that when we do this one we can cut it and make it fit. So let's measure this out. Leave a little space so you have a little bit of a white border all the way around. And see, that's too small. This is bigger than half. This cover. The six is bigger than five and a half. Okay, now don't worry, we're going to put stuff on here. That's why we're going to run over on time. Let's ink this. Let's not do that over the book cover. We're inking this mainly to get the white core off the sides. So when you look at it, you don't see that white edge. Ooh, I got that erased. There's a little bit of a pencil mark there. So I must have cut down the middle of the pencil mark. So then we're going to glue this on. Now, I'm trying to think, do I want to glue a layer of lace to the back side of this and then glue more lace? Because she is um, going to be covered if we glue the lace on here. So let's flip it over. And we're going to use this lace here because this I don't have enough, obviously, to do, I don't think. So let's um, cover this. And we're going to do a row of the lace all the way around.
and we're just going to run a thin bead of glue in a straight line, she says confidently. And just put the piece on. Now this lace has a wide center. We're going to put the center on the edge of the paper. So only half of the lace is going to show. we're going to push it to the end and then it stretches out more than when you measure it so let's cut this little piece off let's do this side Yeah, this video is going to go over. I'm not going to go way over. If we have to, we will just lay everything on the cover um, the way it's going to be so that you can see it. And then I will glue it on off camera. You know, take each piece off and glue it on off camera. And then you'll see it in the flip through. I'm sorry, an hour is just not that long. to make a cover, make and decorate a cover. So that's what I'm saying. I probably should have, mm -mm, that's not gonna work. I need to bring this out. And we're just going to glue right over the top of this little bit of lace here. Just keep in mind that the lace will soak up some of the glue. So you might have to put a little, little bit extra on there. Let's do the last piece on the bottom. See how pretty that's going to be. This one's a little crooked. Ooh. The glue is still damp. I think I fixed it. Look at that. Let's put this last piece on. I've been binge watching um, True Blood. Those of you who don't like vampire dramas probably have never seen it, but if you like sci-fi kind of stuff, you may have. There's seven seasons. And I have been just binge watching all of them. So I don't know. Whatever 12 times 7 is, 70... 84 episodes. 
My poor little eyes are getting tired, but that's all right. That's okay. I'm going to watch it anyway. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't a cheerleader, huh? Okay, so now we've got that. Um, that's too short. It looks long enough on the back side, but when you look at it from the front side, it's too short. So we'll use it for something else on the cover. Let's remeasure. Gosh darn it. I'd rather have it a little bit long and trim it than a little short. Now there's probably enough glue on there still to hold it down. Oh, but there's no glue on the... So, I've got some ivy. We'll be using that on the inside. That's a little sneak thing that you're probably not supposed to know. But it ties it together with the cover. With the lace. And the ivy. And then we're going to use some flowers, which I've never used before. So I'm going to... Let's flip this over. Okay. Okay. Still wet. So now we need to glue it to the cover. get this back out and it's okay if the lace comes over the um, center you know what though we should probably put the uh, spine on then this is going to come out over yeah it's going to come out over the spine so let's put the center on here's our extra piece and I'm going to take this part with the grass and we're going to make it a little bit less than the spine. So we'll start here. And we'll go to here. Now you guys are just going to have to take my word for it that I could see that. <laughs> so we'll put this on first because... Um, That way when we put the lace on it won't matter. And we're going to put the same paper um, only the other side, the other circle on the back. We're going to do the lace the same. So I'm not going to show you that part. I'm just going to go on to the flowers and such. I might put another row of lace on here. I just don't know. That different lace. Because we need this to be on before we do our... Um, sewing or whatever it is we're going to do that I'm not going to tell you. Because <laughs> we're not sewing, remember I said no sew.
Okay, we're going to put it in the center. A little bit up. Turn it right up. Oh, I forgot. Now, let me look at this. Does that mean this is going to be bigger? No, that's why I put the lace on. Okay. So now that that's on, we can, I believe we can glue this on. And then finish decorating it. You know, I think, I think I want to put this other lace on first as it'll be easier to manipulate the paper around before we put it on the cover. So we're going to take the lace that we didn't have enough of over here and we're going to do a second row here like so. on these three sides. Hmm. I'm just thinking and I'm taking up time thinking. I apologize. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. because she's right up to the edge. And I've printed it borderless. It's not like I trimmed it and cut it that way. But it was the best one to be able to cut and do what I wanted to. just did it over here. If I just did it over here, just on this side. Mm -mm. We're going to do it. We need to do it. This one also has a center to it, but I think I'm going to do it down a little bit further so we can see the top one better. I'm going to put the top line of the um, top two lines, the center lines, put one of them on the edge instead of hmm. Bring it down a little bit so that you can see that it's two different laces. So the edges are different. Okay. And to the bottom one. Yeah, I cut it even. Should have made it so that I could miter the corners, wasn't thinking. I could just put this up under here and start from there. Alright, that would work. 
and put it down. I think I pulled it. I did. Okay, let's put our glue down. Make sure to go up under this, this lace here because we're going to push this up under it. Then after this, after the last piece, we will um, Get this last piece on top. Almost at the very end of that lace. The flowers I have are individual little flowers, and they're all different colors. And I'm planning on using all of the colors to match all of the different color fairies that we're going to have inside of our book. Just so you know, we're right in an hour. And then I also have another piece that I want to put in the corner. So I'm going to show you what my idea is. It may not be exactly the same. I want to put maybe this piece in the corner with a pearl and then put the little flowers oh we didn't do the ivy we have to do ivy okay I'm going to do ivy and I should have done it on the back over here before the lace Mm 
let's see if I can take this lace up. If Fabri-Tac is good that way. Um, it takes a little while to dry. No, it looks like we already have it glued down. We could do the ivy underneath all the way around so that it's consistent. Let's see what that looks like. It'll probably look like poo. Sure it does. You can't even see it. I want to put the ivy down the middle and put it right side up. I'm still going to do it on these three sides. So the ivy will be here. Okay. And it lays flat. It's satin. And you can get it on Timu or Tan. Tamu, which is how they set it on the Super Bowl, so I'm not really sure which way you pronounce it. I've always pronounced it Timu. But to them, it's to me, it sounded like Shamu, like the whale, when they uh, set it on the Super Bowl commercial. Because I love watching the Super Bowl. Anyway, so it'll be like that. Then we're going to take these little flowers. I'm going to put this here. And then we're going to take these little flowers and individually... Oh, this, that one's on a stalk. But we're going to take these little flowers and glue them on individually after cutting this little wire. around here in random fashion. I don't really want a pattern. I just kind of want... So I'll just pull out a bunch of these and try to get, you know, different colors. And I'm going to do them around. More extra here, right? And then I think that's going to be the cover. Um, I don't know. Never done a cover like this before. I've run out of time. I feel really bad. But I think you guys get the idea of what I'm going to do, which is put these little flowers along here. I think I'm going to put them right up against each other even, and then the different colors. Like so, only this would be a different color. Maybe the purple. I may just fold these flat if I can get away with it. And I don't have to cut them all off. And then one of these maybe a light blue. That one's kind of mushed. And a light blue. I'm not going to do a pattern. So then maybe a dark one and then a purple one. I just don't want to put the the dark ones next to each other, you know, and I don't want to go every other flower. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. It's like this, and then we're going to go around here, different color flowers, I'm just showing you, okay, maybe one more row here, you know, like an extra row. I'm not sure about the extra row yet. We'll have to see. And then around here and around here and then a pearl or something in the center of this here. Or
cutting the wire off, of course, on this one. Or you could glue it on like this to make sure it really does stay. Put a flower in the center of this. I don't know if I would like that or a, or a pearl better. I think I would like a pearl better. So anyway, okay, we're out of time. That's what we're going to do. And then you'll see the end of it. On the back cover, I'm not going to add any flowers or anything, but I will add the lace if I've got enough lace left. Um, then um, I may start with a whole different roll of a different lace. But anyway, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video where we will be... What will we be doing? In the next video, we will be doing our signatures and decorating. Okay? All right, well, that's it for me. I'll see you next time, and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>